Hi, I'm the wine, one half of Wine Rum, an expat couple from Austria and Barbados. We moved to Ireland three years ago and on this channel we talk about our experiences as experts and what it's like to live in Dublin and in Ireland in general. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe. We upload twice a week. And now without further ado, let's talk about food! Today I want to share with you five of our favorite Irish foods that we have come to love since we moved to Ireland. Now, number one, let's get the obvious out of the way, fish and chips. But not just any old fish and chips. Fish and chips where you have the chips with salt and vinegar. I know it sounds a bit strange at first and maybe also a little bit disgusting. I know we were a bit disgusted the first time someone offered that to us in a, shop, in a chip shop. But they were like, that's the traditional way to eat it. So we were like, okay, I guess we'll try it. And to be honest, now we can't imagine eating chips any other way. It's just way more delicious with salt and vinegar than with tomato ketchup. Point number two on the list are the stews. Ireland can get quite chilly, especially in the very long winter and spring or autumn. They can also feel a bit like winter. So you're looking for something hearty and warming to help you after you've walked around the city in the cold. And stews are perfect for that. Traditionally, you often have them with some type of meat, some potato, some vegetable, and very curious, often you also find them with some beer in it, like a Guinness beef stew, for example. Sounds a bit strange, it, it doesn't quite taste like drinking a pint, so you can still have your pint with it because the alcohol evaporates. It's not like you're going to be drunk after one like, plate full of Guinness stew, but it does add something to the taste, I suppose and makes it also even more traditionally Irish. Point number three is also related to a very traditional Irish meal and that's bacon and cabbage. Except my point isn't really about the bacon and cabbage. The bacon and the cabbage are quite nice too. Actually reminds me a little bit of Austrian food, but the real star for me of that meal is the mashed potatoes with parsley sauce. Trust me on this one. It's like if you go to a traditional pub and you have them sometimes still serve the mashed potatoes in like an entire full can, like one of those gravy containers full of, well not a can, it's like a porcelain container. The thing that looks like the lamp where the genie comes from in Aladdin. You know what I mean, we'll put a picture there. They'll give you an entire thing of that just for sauce to go with your mashed potatoes. And I have to admit in Austria we don't really do sauces with mashed potatoes, like the mashed potatoes is already almost a sauce. So having another flavor added to that I find works really nicely. Point number four on the list is also kind of related to chili days, at least it's very nice to have on a chili day. And that is chowder. It's kind of like a very creamy fish soup, if that makes sense. Halfway between a soup and a stew a lot creamier and you have fish or other seafood in there traditionally and you'll actually in a lot of Irish like cafes or even some restaurants on the lunchtime menu you'll find it as a sort of main because it's a popular lunchtime food for people who are on their lunch break. And speaking of lunch breaks the last but not least point on our list are the sandwiches. Now I know a lot of places in the world do sandwiches but I was surprised by how hearty the sandwiches in Ireland look like. There is a lot of filling that goes in there, a lot of different flavors. There's your meats, your vegetables, your sauces, more vegetable, cheese, pretty much anything you want. Sometimes they'll even come sort of with seasonal flavors or they'll have different flavors inspired by different countries. But they'll always look really massive and quite often you'll be wondering how to get all of that in your mouth at once, like if you're eating a burger. So. That is another lunchtime favorite for many people. So if you come to Dublin, you'll find that probably in a lot of cafes. For the more traditional stuff, like the stews and mashed potatoes and like the whole proper meals, you probably have to go to a pub, but it should be probably quite easily, quite, should be probably quite easy to find those as well. So I hope you enjoyed the little video, some fun facts about what it's like to live in Ireland and what to eat in Ireland. Let us know in the comments if you've tried any of these foods or if there's an Irish food we missed out that you absolutely love. So I hope to see you next time in the next video when the rum is back. Make sure to subscribe so you won't miss it and hit the notification bell. And see you very soon. Bye!